Hello everyone, quick message before this upload begins and that is that we will be calling the winner of our Viper this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, we'll be calling one of you guys to tell you you won the SRT Viper this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we'll be calling one of you. So have your phone on you and keep an eye out for a 717 number. Thank you. Oh my! <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. This is going to be an epic one because we are driving an awesome, awesome car. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking about getting a new exotic car for the channel. The car at the top of my list is a Lamborghini Aventador, but not just any Lamborghini Aventador. I wanted to get either an SV or an S. So I posted on Instagram about it and the results are pretty clear. Uh, you guys want to see an SV. Now, I really thought it was going to be about 50-50. You know, some people saying get the SV, some people saying get the S, but it was pretty much like 95 and 5. 95% uh, of people seem uh, to want to see the Lamborghini Aventador SV, and I can't blame them. It's a sick car. Like I said a while ago, I think it is the cooler of the two. I think the S, from what everyone says, would be the better daily. But I guess, you know what, I'm young. I can, I daily drive a thousand horsepower ZR1. I can daily drive an SV and make it work. I think I can make it work. Luckily, I happen to know a guy that currently owns a Lamborghini Aventador SV, and it's actually for sale for a really good price. We're gonna go check it out. It's gonna be really hard to pick which car I think is going to sound better. Will it be the Corvette? Or the Aventador, that's, that's a tough one. I'm incredibly excited to drive this car. And like I mentioned, I've been thinking about getting another exotic for a little while. And I've, I've looked at a lot of cars, you know, looked at, I, I really kind of narrowed it down to Lamborghini. I've had McLarens, 720S is a great deal right now. I mean, crazy deal right now. You can get a really good 720 for like 200-ish, 220, 230. And that's a lot of car for, I mean, you're talking about getting hypercar performance for 200-ish grand and you can't get that performance anywhere else. As you guys know, I'm not into like Porsche, really great cars, but I'm just not into them. Ferrari, same thing. Uh, and when I looked at the Lamborghini brand, I thought about getting, you know, choice number one was like, oh, Lamborghini Huracan. But everyone has a Huracan on YouTube and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great car. Nobody in their right mind is going to tell you the Aventador is a better car than the Huracan because it's not. The Huracan is the better daily and the better overall car. But the big V12 Lambo is the one in my head and tugging on my heartstrings. I can't let it go. And I think I gotta go big V12 Lambo. I even thought about like a Huracan Performante or a Huracan Evo. And that's an even better car than a regular one. But I, again, I feel like it's just an updated or a different Huracan. It's not, it doesn't, get me excited the same way the Aventador does. <laughs> I absolutely freaking love this car. You know, I'm getting a Lambo because I want one, it's been a, a dream car of mine forever since I was like seven years old, but I'm not unhappy in any way with the ZR1. I could live with this car for the rest of my life and be totally fine. Well, I think we're here. I got the AC blasting because it is so freaking hot out, but I see an SV and it looks really freaking good. Oh boy, okay, all right, this is, uh, this is getting real now. 
Oh boy. Before we get any farther into today's upload, I wanna let you guys know this video has been brought to you by Cove, a longtime sponsor on the channel. Cove has been working with me for a very long time. I think before I had even 100K subs, they reached out. I'm sure you guys know them. They work with a lot of automotive influencers. You may have seen their original speaker right here that I still use and many, many people bought. You might know them for their headphones that I used to use every single day at the gym before my gym closed. I don't have to here because I can use the speaker. Uh, the gym, I like getting the noise canceling, my noise canceling on and they're really good. But they have the original speaker, the headphones, they have other stuff and their newest product, the big speaker. Now it's just like the old one, you get premium sound for an affordable price, but it's even better now, new and improved, super easy Bluetooth connectivity, a very long battery life and this one, is a little bit unique because not only is it a normal speaker like you're used to, but it's actually, if I can get it disconnected, hard to do with one hand, but you can turn it and then you have two speakers. So it's like a little surround sound system. And this really comes in handy. You know, if you're working in the garage and you're walking around a lot, you don't wanna to have to keep moving your speaker. It's nice to get even sound. So you could put one, you know, if you're over here on the workbench, you put one here. You're messing around with the car. So you put the other one back here and then you have quality sound around you while you're working. You can literally separate them and have a miniature surround sound system anywhere you go. This is a 1998. <laughs> Daddy dog! If you're looking for a speaker, look no farther. This is the one for you. Go to coveaudio.com slash street 60. That's going to get you 60% off of your order. Again, coveaudio.com slash street 60. And thank you to Cove for sponsoring this upload. And now, Back to the content. You gotta check them out. My buddy Brandon, you might recognize this car from the PA Auto Show. Can't go wrong with an Aventador. Even better when it's an SV. It's beautiful, I have to say. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Now you were saying that it's not the most comfortable car. It is not, <laughs> but, we, but we did take it cross country. So okay. We, we put 7,000 miles and went across New Mexico, Colorado with it and um, just pretty much drove out of it. No major problems at all. Okay. We, got right under 200 we hit 198. It couldn't have been that bad if you drove it that far. Yeah. We, we, uh, we put butt cushions. Um, okay, you had cushions, <laughs> so I'm gonna need something like that? Oh my yeah. God. I was, uh, I was deciding between like Aventador S or SV, put up the post on Instagram. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Everyone said SV. Really? Ever, like literally maybe 5% said <laughs> S, but I thought it was gonna be, everyone was like SV. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun car. Um, and it doesn't really scrape or anything as long as you raise it and you pay attention to okay. that. Like it, like it's fairly practical <laughs> overall. Um, so it's, it's got nose lift and it it's got like air conditioning. Lift. Yes. Yes. Okay. It, has, it has every function <laughs> I think. It doesn't have cup holders. It doesn't have a glove box and has a lot of carbon fiber. Okay. It's, it's pretty functional otherwise. Oh my God. And, um, so believe it or not, I mean, we packed, we were gone for almost a month and we lived in this car. Everyone's like, oh, you, they're so impractical. No cup holders, that's a that's a tough one. The cup holders is the most annoying part of the car. I eat a lot of McDonald's <laughs> in my car. Like a lot of McDonald's is eaten in my cars. But hold, hold on, okay. So this is one of the <laughs> one of the fun parts of this. Okay. I eat a lot of McDonald's in the car too. I still clean it up a little bit. But uh these are perfectly flat to set cups on when you're eating. Oh. So genius. If you park, you can yeah, there's the there's no cushion there, carbon fiber, so. Okay. Yeah. So you can just eat off the floor then, that's good. Or even here's, a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or the wing, yeah. drinks here. Um, you have a picnic table wherever you go, it's perfect height. Yep, nice um, one there. Yeah, so, I mean, as far as that goes, like it has some practicality. You got it at Sterling. They uh, were great with the Urus. Yeah, bought it off of uh, Luke. Went in there to, uh, at first buy a 570, then to buy a Huracan, and then and you walked out with this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> those are quite, those are all quite different. I know, yeah. yeah. Holy <laughs> crap. And that's the exhaust on all of them? No, so this is Lamborghini racing exhaust. So okay. this is the upgraded exhaust from Lamborghini. Um, apart Oof. from that, there's nothing else Oof. actually done to the car. Everything is stock. No soft close. No cool. soft close. Okay, gotta give it a little bit of a slam. Gotcha. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Have fun in the Corvette. <laughs> be safe. And uh, I will do my best to do the same. Let me switch to the POV hat. We'll fire up. Well, I'll do this before we do that. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Wow, that sounds good. That startup is nuts. I, <laughs> Just even like the starter sound is crazy. Okay, and stop start off is right there. Yeah, and then the manual button Got it. is That's off. there, and then the reverse button's the R. So man manual, manual yeah. mode. Gotcha. Oh. All right. Here we go. Out on the open road shortly. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I know the ZR1 is faster, but. Oh my God. That's just, it's just really exciting to drive. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my God. You know, uh, one thing I noticed right away, the visibility is pretty good. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You can really see the mirrors are nice and big. You can really see back behind you. Out in front of you is great, no problem there. Um, oh, the burbles, listen to the burbles. Oh my God. There's a slight blind spot if you look over your right shoulder, like if you're trying to see over that way, it's a little bit tough to see and there's a lot of car in your way, but other than that, it's actually really nice. And the Aventador is a big car. It's a big car for sure, but it, it really doesn't feel that big when you're driving it. It feels pretty small. Apparently, the way to drive an Aventador is full manual mode. And the only issue is uh, when you are in manual mode, and when I think when you drive it, period, you are to go to neutral at a stop sign like we're at right now. You go neutral at the stop sign and then you click back into first to go. It really is like driving an actual manual. Um, I'm losing stuff on the dash. This thing is incredible. It is incredible. The looks I've gotten already are like unreal. It's unreal the way people look at this car. <laughs> I mean, you can see why they're just, that's the thing about the Aventador. Even, I mean, everyone's gonna look at a Huracan, but the Aventador has so much road presence. It's so freaking wide. And it's a bit, like I said, it's a big car. It's like unreal to look at. It truly is the poster car that every little kid had. We're in Strada, let's try sport mode or let's try Corsa. And that's gonna really firm up those shifts. I, I wanted to start in Strada, you know, take it easy. I haven't driven one in a while. And let's see how she does. Look, we're on Bull Road. We're on Bull Road. The turn signal is on the stalk, not on the wheel, like the Huracan is. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so sorry, Brandon, your business cards are flying. I'll pick them up. Uh, it's a totally different car in Corsa. Oh my God. Wow. Holy crap. Hold on, let me put the windows up just in case the audio is a little wild here. Pretty much all of your controls are in the center console. So your windows, your front nose lift, there isn't really a whole lot on the wheel. Your volume button and that's kind of like it. Your volume, your seek button and, uh, and then your paddles. <laughs> and uh, I don't even know how fast I'm going but I'm, I'm sure it's far, far above the limit here but it's hard not to just kind of lose yourself in the car. Wow. <laughs> Single clutch is a little bit older tech. You know, it's not a double clutch, but I have to say driving it, it feels just as good. Like the shifts are instant. Was not kidding when he said that he just kind of uses the engine to brake because you, you don't even need the brakes just downshift oh my god wow all right well speaking of getting lost in the car i have literally no idea where i am luckily i do have my phone i almost <laughs> I was kind of worried I forgot it in the ZR1, but I didn't. Wow. I really like it. You know, it's, it's, that is what I'm pleasantly surprised by. It's a lot more manageable than I thought it was going to be. I really like it. And that's actually kind of, I'm really glad and very thankful 
Brandon let me drive it because I was worried about worried about how it would feel to be honest you know a lot of people say the Aventador is oh it's so old it's so big but it really feels good now this is my first time really kind of driving one for any extended period of time so I'm sure that as I lived with it I would find things that I don't like but it's really manageable this is a great road too we found wow bull road how about that literally bull road literally bull road so uh like i said neutral at any stop and then click the paddle to go back into first that lady didn't care at all unreal click it back into gear freaking special I have to admit I think it is pretty special oh 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 <laughs> god that's good oh the car is great and I love it which I knew I knew that I would only love it more the more I got to drive one, so that's not a, a surprise at all. But the only thing that does still scare me, and it, it actually drives better than I thought, so that's great. The only thing that does scare me is the fact that I think it will be out of warranty when I get one because I'm looking at like a 2017 or 2018. I think they're 2017. And uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know. The engine, Brandon was telling me the engine is a hundred grand. The trans is like 50 grand. What if something happens? I really can't afford to be messing around with $100,000 repairs. Should be good. It's just, uh, it's a little bit scary. You know, I won't lie. It's a little bit scary. It's a big purchase. To put this in perspective, as far as my life goes and things that I have bought, uh, if I buy an SV, it's gonna be roughly the same amount of money as my entire house and property. So yeah, it would be epic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think, I think I'd love it. Well, we made it back, didn't crash the Corvette, didn't crash the SV, so pretty good day. Had a lot of fun driving the car. Again, big thank you to Brandon. Um, yeah, it was awesome. It was really, really awesome. But I will say, you know, I thought about it. I didn't film. I just wanted to really think about everything on the ride home. And I don't know. You know, you guys know I love to drive my cars every day, uh, both on and off camera. This car, we take it to dinner. We take it to the grocery store, take it to the gym family, wherever we're going, we take this car a lot. I really do enjoy di truly daily driving my cars and that Aventador was a bit of a hassle. I won't lie. I mean, I loved it, but could I drive it every day? You know, this car, even being a thousand horsepower, put the AC on, windows up, you don't even know you're in a modified car. Uh, that Aventador is different. You know, the way you have to drive it, you have to drive it. And it's not like a normal manual because that I mean, I guess I would get used to it because in a manual, I was gonna say, like I don't even have to think about putting this car in neutral and like shifting gear. I just do it. You know, I get in the car and I, I don't have to think about shifting and doing all that and using the clutch. I just, I just do it. And I guess, I guess that's the same as the Aventador. You know, I would get used to going to neutral at every stop sign and stop light and everything. And I would get used to having to have your foot on the brake and shift back into first with the paddle. I suppose I would get used to it, but it, it really is, you know, it's a different animal. It's a brutal machine and I love that, but uh, am I going to enjoy it every day? I mean, Brandon, the guy who owns it, said he's trading it on a Huracan. He loves it, but he wants something a little bit more daily drivable and he wants something you can modify more. And that's another thing, the SV, there really isn't a whole lot of places to go. You know, it already it's already pretty much maxed out. Uh, you could tune it. You can put an exhaust on it, but that's really pretty much the end of the line. I might have my beef with the McLaren brand as far as their reliability, but I really love 
the way they drive for a daily. You know, it's a way better. I, I enjoyed all three McLarens I had as a daily. So they're even a lot better. You can't just willy nilly make a $400,000 purchase. I'm not balling like that. I ain't balling at all. I have to think about it and I'll keep my options open. You know, maybe even 720 Spider. always wanted one of those or a 720 Coupe you can get a great deal on. I know I had one already, but I barely got to draw. I, I had it for like four or five months. I think I am a little bit more partial just from a driving perspective. I think I do like the McLarens a little bit more than the Lambos, I just you know, but the, the Lambos are more exciting. So it's tough. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough decision. It really is. Now this is a first world problem. I'm not complaining. Oh, what do I buy? I buy McLaren or a Lambo? Really hard on me, guys. But um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough choice. The good news is it is a fantastic time to buy a car. So the market is flooded with cars. It's a buyer's market and we'll keep looking. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.